Okay. Last time we left off, you guys had just gone to bed for the the night because you had a very productive day the following day. You awaken to blue skies coming in through the windows, the sound of birds chirping, and it seems like it's going to be a beautiful sunny day. You all kind of awaken around the same time, which some might find to be kind of odd, but due to the fact you're in a, a different environment other than your your standard one, uh, that's just kind of what happens. So you all get up. I wake up screaming. Okay, so you guys awaken and you hear... Ah! Ah! I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start waking up. Uh, what's what's going on? Uh, five more minutes. A a after uh, I I'm, once I hear the scream, I'm just gonna just kind of like jolt up like an immediate sit up out of bed, like, yeah. and just and, and I grab my uh, my microscope next to my bed. I I see five more minutes, and then I accidentally roll out of bed and thud on the ground. Ow. Okay, I'm up. I'm I got up out of bed and investigate what's going on. Yeah, me too. I'm gonna be like, hey, what's wrong? After I pick myself up, I'll also join. So, everybody gets up, including the young woman who you, that you guys are staying at their bed and breakfast. Uh, everybody kind of flocks to the area where the noise is coming from. And it seems to be coming from a specific room. And it has two people in that room, and it was Cole and Josh. Yeah. yeah so I, okay. So I look up to see why the why the hell he was screaming. Yeah. Dude, what's going on? You all right? Like, is, is everything going? You, you okay? Do you have a nightmare? I picked up my belt and I look around. Everything's all right, I suppose. You you suppose? You, you just started screaming. The uh, house isn't on fire. What's, what's the emergency? I kind of look at Kyle's character when she says that, and I'm just kind of like, uh... rubbing my eyes as I say that. And I'm I'm just kind of standing there, just a little. Look at looking at the girls, just a little bewildered, like, and then looking mm -hmm. kind of over at uh, Lucas, Josh's character, and and just like, was it Colonel Mustard with a candlestick? Colonel Mustard. Yep. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not nearly awake. We're fed enough for this conversation this morning. Crop mustard. Stay quiet. Does anybody know what's going on here? No. I think we're all. I, 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 I think it's safe to say that we're a little lost. Lucas, is, it, is everything good, man? I think so. So, uh, what, time, what time is it anyway? You see the young lady behind you, she goes, That's about 8 o'clock. Oh, I guess I'm up now. Damn, my overslept. Is that why you were screaming? <laughs> because you overslept? <laughs> did, did you hear me? Yeah. Oh, I was just... <laughs> so Lucas is going to say anything. He's a yeah. <laughs> well, I, I'm just going to kind of look at everyone like, well, I guess we're up now so yeah we can 
start looking into more of those earthquakes, but I could go for a sandwich. I I need breakfast first myself. Yeah, yeah, we should. We should get some grub. The young lady, she goes, I'll go downstairs and make something. Do you guys want eggs, eggs and toast? Bacon? You guys want uh, some breakfast sandwiches? Um, I can go pick something up. What do you... I don't, I don't know what you guys like. I mean, whatever's the easiest on you. I'll take it all. <laughs> she kind of looks at you and goes, oh, okay. Um, and she just looks kind of confused, but she kind of finds you to be an odd one. And she goes, well, that's the, the rest of you. You know, some eggs, toast, a little bit of bacon, maybe hash browns. I'm not trying to eat the whole fridge now. Just, yeah. yeah, we just... Whatever's, whatever's easiest and convenient for you. We... we uh, I mean... I'll, I'll eat almost anything. <laughs> uh, she'll take anything with peanut butter. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. I even put a little bit of it in my coffee sometimes. You see that she looks at you kind of like... Odd. Gotta get them gains. And I kind of like flex. That's, that's fair. Which is very... Yeah. She's got a high brawn. I'm not picking you. I'll uh, I'll take whatever you have to offer. Yeah. She says, "You guys just want me to pick something up, or you want me to make it? I'm glad to do either one." Hmm. Then uh, I'll just kind of look at back. I'll, I'll 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 take a couple slices of wheat toast if you have it. Maybe some eggs. How about how about I help you in the kitchen? She says, "Oh, okay, that'd be great. Thank you." You yeah. know what? You know, I got a little experience with that working in the family's diner myself. That's right. I'd like to lend a hand, too. That's right. Chelsea's family owns diner. She kind of looks taken back and says, Oh, thank you. That That's very appreciated. I could always use the extra help. And I'll set the table. That sounds well, wonderful. That... He said he'd set the table. I... Okay. Yes, and she just looks incredibly like taken back by all of this this help and she goes oh wow thank you guys so much uh, well I'm not used to I'm not used to people who stay here helping it's it's well, so appreciated well we're we're like a team you know we we help each other you out lent, you lent us a roof for the night it's the least we can do ma'am exactly she says you guys were paying customers, but I appreciate it nonetheless. <laughs> we're happy to help. It's no problem at all. It's no yeah. problem at all. Yeah. She uh smiles and everybody kind of migrates, uh, or I'm assuming everybody kind of migrates downstairs because that's where the kitchen is. Yeah. Mm -mm. You guys get downstairs and you can see the TV going. And uh, the old man is sitting watching. It looks like he's watching Looney Tunes or something. <laughs> and it's the episode where Bugs Bunny and Elmer Fudd are singing Spill and Magic Helmet. <laughs> yes. And Bugs is like, Spill and Magic Helmet. Spill and Magic Helmet. <laughs> And he seems to be enjoying himself. He's kind of chuckling along with it. Uh, just having a good time. And the you guys make your way into the kitchen. And she begins getting plates and uh, pots and various things to make breakfast. What does everybody want to do? Um, I'm ah. going to start helping in the kitchen. Yeah. I I want to I want to make things uh, really interesting here because this is either going to go really good or really bad, but 
I know culinary arts cooking is under performance. I want to make a roll for that because I want to try and impress everybody with a good meal. So you're Ooh. actually going to try it. Okay. Yep. How, uh, how does teamwork work? Can I help with that? You both can. You would have to um, both make the check and at least one of you has to succeed. Okay. Alright, what's the uh, what's the check again? So it's it'll be performance. performance. It's, it's performance. Shit. I'm not sure if I have that. Let me double check. I do not. I so do you would roll you would roll two D twenty and take the lower result, I yep, believe. It'd be a snag. Yep. So, so I'd roll two D twenty? You take you'd the roll, lowest. Then take the lowest, yes. I don't have a modern. I have a six and a four, so taking the four. Yep. And I rolled low, so that's a six. <laughs> so I got I got a D two. I got a D two in it. So I don't so, have a snag, and I still rolled low. <laughs> so the combined efforts, uh, you guys do not seem to impress and make kind of a mess. <laughs> you don't know if it's because you're tired or you don't know the layout of the land, so to speak. Oh. But it didn't go well. Oh, this, this is what happens when you cook, when you roll out of bed and face plant. Oh. She kind of laughs and she goes, it's, it's, it's fine. I knew I shouldn't have uh, yeah. got, uh, 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 got the peanut butter. I, I uh, usually, I usually uh, do so much better than this. I'm, I'm so sorry. Yeah, she I, I really does. Know. She really does. I, I, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess, I just rolled out of the wrong side of bed. Uh, quite, quite literally, I, uh, I, I, I got, I got a face planted on the floor when I heard the scream. Yeah. We all have our off days. Ah. Uh, Okay. I know, I know. I just, I just really wanted to do a job so everybody could have a great breakfast. It'll still be great. It'll still be great because we're all together and everybody's <sighs> fine. She goes, I, I wouldn't worry about it. You, you didn't do bad. It, it's just, you know, we all have our off days. I fought him until I didn't have any money. Yeah, yeah. I suppose you're right. She goes, I have my off days all the time. They're chasing me again. Real quick, uh, still, pause, whoever's, sorry guys, who, whoever's in the background, we can hear them playing as day, so. Not, there's not much I can do about that. They, they, I, I'm sorry about them. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, yeah, it's uh, all right. It's all right. Okay, resume, please. It, it's just. Oh, it's just knowing that I can do better. It's just, I guess, it's just a point of a personal disappointment. She goes, "Yeah, I understand, but you know, if you guys are staying, you know, if you're staying another night in town, uh, you know, you can. The room will still be available, and uh, and there's always, you know, tomorrow, or if you decide to get a wild hair." You know, dinner and lunch. There's always other times to, you know, if you're trying to make a good impression. All right, all right. I, I suppose you're right. I suppose you're right. She goes, yeah. You know, let's just let's just have a good a good you know good day, really. Yeah, yeah. You know what? You're right. You're right. You're right. She goes. So I have to ask, what uh, what brings you like, what brings you guys here again? Uh, something about the earthquakes, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, we heard about the earthquakes, and we wanted to investigate. And I wanted to see if, if there was anybody hurt, so I could, you know, try to help them. Is Jack, is Jack cutting out for you guys? <sighs> yes. Yes. Oh, Very give me a bad. second. Okay. Give me a second. Let me. I thought it was just me. I was like, I just want to make sure. I said. Um, Yes, we, we heard about the earthquakes and we wanted to come investigate and, uh, you know, I was going to see if anybody was hurt so I can try to help them. She goes, oh, go ahead. 
What really got my curiosity peaked is the fact that we don't live too far away and we've never felt these earthquakes. She says, that is so weird because normally with an earthquake, you know, anybody in the in the area that as long as long as the earthquake is big enough to be felt would feel it. We only feel it here. It's so weird. Yeah, yeah, you know. I know uh, Cal really wanted to uh, investigate it for, for science, too. Yeah, well, he says he wants to make sure we don't get ourselves in trouble, but, I mean... We, we, we know he loves his uh, little gadgets and whatnot. I'm sure he's very eager to... Uh, test him out on this on this phenomenon well nobody's ever really investigated it before they just assumed it was an anomaly how how long has this been uh, happening here anyway oh it started not that long ago I don't remember exactly how long but it was it was more more recent. You talking days, weeks, months? It's just when I kind of want to chime in based upon like the research that I was doing with like my my sure. apps and stuff last time. And I, I want to chime in. I'm just going to So, based upon what I saw with all the data analysis that I was able to achieve from looking at the maps and, and using the the app that I had developed to kind of review the seismic activity among other things. It looks like it started only about a week ago and it just kind of came out of nowhere and and the it, it, there doesn't seem to be any surrounding residual effects. It's all based in Angel Grove. Huh. She kind of just looks at him and goes, that sounds about right. Huh. She goes, yeah, I, I don't know. I know grandfather is curious because it's just nothing like this has ever happened in his lifetime. I mean, he's experienced earthquakes, but nothing that was, I guess you could say, contained. I'll nod. Yes, I mean, I mean... Earthquakes are nothing new to California. It's just the fact that it's so contained is what's really out of the ordinary. Yeah, that's that's one of the things that Grandpa was saying is that it, it was just odd. And he's been looking into it, but he's not the best when it comes to uh, anything revolving around research. So, we're hoping we find some answers today, but, you know, we're kind of flying blind here, so who really knows for sure? You see, she kind of goes, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. I, I don't know, other than... It's everybody just has kind of accepted it. Nobody really saw it as is weird, which kind of makes me weird because I it just it's always you don't expect it, I guess. Right. So. Oh, by the way, off topic. I apologize for the dog in the background. Sam's mm -hmm. gone, and when Sam's gone, she she whines a lot. Honestly, I didn't even hear it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you guys were going to hear it. So, so no, I hear it a little bit, but it's nothing it. bothersome. Hello, are you? <laughs> Josh. Look, so, I, I hear it a bit, but it's nothing bothersome. It's, 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 okay. it's yeah, it's, it's. I was just letting you guys know because she's old uh, in it. Yeah. She's old. Tell her I love her, Tell her I love her Keith. Yeah. Hey, Amelia. Uncle Cole loves you. Thank you. There she goes. Thank you. You're welcome. So, so, yeah, um, so you guys have managed uh, while talking, you get dinner done or not dinner. I'm at breakfast brain mm -hmm. fart. 
you guys get breakfast done and uh, the table has been set and uh, everybody kind of gathers around the table and there's enough seats and the old man is sitting at the head of the table, his granddaughter sitting on his right side and you guys are kind of taking seats around the table respectively with some really good food and uh, the the young lady she goes, I don't know if you guys are um, religious or not, but we always say grace. Okay, okay. My grandmother used to say grace before every meal. I'd be honored. Sure, yeah. And she smiles and uh, closes her eyes and bows her head. And her and her grandfather hold hands. And what are you guys doing? I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll. Follow their lead and take the cue for it. Yeah, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna take uh, um, Chelsea's hand and then whoever else I'm sitting with. Yeah, I'll take whoever's I'll, hand. Still, I'll offer that my other free hand. Whoever is next to me. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you guys take hands. This is the question I have to ask. Hey, Josh, what are you doing? Did we just lose him? I think we just yeah. lost him, as as you yeah, were saying we that. We sure okay. did. Let's take a moment, uh, if we can, and let Josh come back. Uh, what a time to drop. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Josh, you there, bud? Josh, brother, you there? Hello? I heard him just come back. Is that him? No, he, he hasn't said anything yeah. yet. Yeah. He says he's in here. Yeah. Hey, that was weird. Can you hear us? There he is. What was the last thing you heard, Josh? My name. <laughs> Did you yeah. hear the part where they're saying, or they're getting ready to say grace? I grab my plate and I go to the corner again. So you're going to get up from the table and just go to the corner? <laughs> yep. So as you, as grace is about to be said, you see that Lucas gets up from the table, walks to the corner. What are you doing in the corner? Is he sounding like a robot to you guys? Yeah. Yeah. So what's he going to do in the corner? I'm not sure. I should not start eating. eating. He's just going to start eating. In the okay. middle of Grace. Yep. In the corner? Yep. Yep. So you see Lucas yep. take his plate, get up, walk to the corner... And begin eating while everybody begins to say grace. I kind of look up and I just like shake my head, and, like I'll, 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 I'll just, I'll just blink in uh, disbelief a few times. And while all that's going on, I'm just kind of going with the flow and just kind of joining everybody else. All right, Cole, you wanted to say grace. Give me a second. Okay. We're all holding hands, correct? Or mm -hmm. everybody was Except for Josh, who took his food, got up, went to the corner of the room, and started eating. Okay. okay. I'll say it, Grace. Dear Lord, thank you for this wonderful and fine day that we have. And thank you for blessing us, for giving us another opportunity to wake up this morning and to have a wonderful day. We ask that you watch over us and our families and over the many people that were harmed in these terrible earthquakes. We ask that you take care of them and their families in this time of need. Amen. 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 Everybody says amen except for Josh. Josh is doing his thing. And everybody starts to eat. Josh, you stay in the corner you're going to go back to the table? I'm going to stay in the corner. <laughs> <laughs>
going to stay in the corner, all right. <laughs> so the old man begins kind of piling up some food. And he goes, so what, what are you five, five kids have playing for the day? I'll uh, scoop some eggs and toast and bacon onto my plate. Slightly burnt. And I'll say, well, we wanted to investigate the uh, earthquake some more. He goes, ah, you're gonna... What, are, what exactly are you investigating? Like, what are you looking for? Well... We want to get close to the uh, source of the seismic activity and try and investigate maybe why it's so isolated to around this area. I'll uh, point with my thumb. Now, Cal over here would know more about that than I would. But... Uh, you know, I think we're all curious to a certain degree as to why this happens. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it's weird. It, normally when an earthquake happens, it kind of uh, affects everywhere else if it's big enough. And some of these earthquakes have been big enough. They should have, but nobody has felt it. I've, I've always thought it's kind of weird, but everybody else... I don't know, they just seem to think it's normal. You know... Yeah? This might sound uh, weird. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just saying that, yeah, I mean, they, they, they started about a, about a week ago, it looks like, so definitely want, you know, I gotta keep, you know, I definitely want to find out what's going on, but I gotta keep these ladies out of trouble, too, because they, they'll go get themselves hurt, but, but definitely look into... To, to try and find out what's what's where the seismic activity is coming from because it, it, it is very isolated but, ha but I haven't been able to pinpoint exactly where it's coming from yet yeah I have a theory where it's coming from but I don't I don't really know for sure it's just a theory though what's your uh what's your uh theory? Well, based on where the earthquakes have had the most, I would say, impact, it seems like they're coming from beneath the 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 dam the fielding community park. You know, I was actually just about to ask if there were, is a way to, I guess, get underneath that surface for a no. lack of a better term. There is there is an old cave nearby that has been abandoned. Nobody does anything. It's actually closed off. But uh, there is there, there is that, and uh, it used to be an old mine shaft. Okay, all right. And uh, I just wonder. I just think there's something with it. It's just odd, you know. You know. This this probably sounds silly, but I actually had a dream last night that made me think to check underneath that field in that park. The yeah. fact that you say that there's not only a way under there, but that you also think there could be something there to, to do with it. I mean, it's. I mean, this can't be a coincidence, right? I, I wouldn't think so, but um, I, you know, I'm not the super, the super smart type, so you'd have to ask your friend. He he know more than I would. Wait a second. You had a dream about the park? Yeah, yeah. Oh, never mind. It was calling at me to check under the park. And and I'm looking at them as they're saying this, just a little bewildered. Because scientifically, I don't think it can be possible. 
you know, some, that's something in my head, but then I'm I, I'm looking at them like, there's, you you had the same dream. I I had a dream about the same thing too. That that sci that, that just that there's no science that says that can that that can really happen. How what? I I had that dream. He goes, yeah, I, I can't explain it. It's off. That's all I can say. I, I don't really know any more to say. Did anybody else have that same dream? I, I had something just like that. And I... I just I I don't understand. I've I've heard of of things like this happening in like fairy tales, but I never potentially imagined that it could be something that could happen in reality. There's got to be some kind of science to explain this. Lucas, Man, Lucas, did either of you have this dream? Did you wake up screaming because of the dream? I dreamed. I dreamed. You dreamed what? About darkness. You dreamed about darkness. Again. Again. This one was a little different. What happened in it? Everyone dies. <clears throat> Everyone dies. What? That's I think I think he's messing with us. Pretty extreme to say that. I mean, but I mean, I don't know if you would say that just to say it or whether it's true. I'm not calling you a liar necessarily. I'm just that's it's kind of shocking. I'm taken back by that a little bit. Yeah, yeah, me too. I can't bounce my head off the wall. What? I'm just kind of looking at everybody as you say this. I'm like, I think we, we if we're all having this 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 dream this phenomenon then something is telling us that we should go there for science of course yeah i do want to know what's going on yeah maybe we should maybe we should Maybe so. I don't see any reason not to, to be honest. And I'm already ready. And I, I, of course, you know, I, I, I'm saying that as I had my bag of equipment like at my feet, pretty much ready to go from the time I woke up. So mm -hmm. while we're we're eating, you know, we're, we're, we've we're been eating, and, and we all kind of agree to go there. I, I just. I got my bag on my shoulder already ready to go. Uh, I need to change in my clothes for the day, but well after I do that, I'll be good to go. Okay, so everybody has managed to eat their food, drink mm -hmm. either whatever you're drinking, water or whatever mm -hmm. you're drinking, it don't matter. What I inhale. This? You inhale yours? Yes. Okay. I and was it's hungry. About 11 now. You guys have t talked and had a, you know, a good conversation piece and whatnot. So what do you guys, what do you guys want to do now? Well, I get all ready for the day and everything. I, Put on my red number 19 Debo Samuel jersey. I'm good to go. 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm just getting ready and I'm going. Yep. I'll also get ready. But I thank her for the meal and I thank um Chelsea and Effie for the meal as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I you. just wish I could have done a little bit of a better job on it. For that. Yeah. Me too. She goes, oh, it's, uh, it's, it's my pleasure. My pleasure. Uh, if you guys need somewhere to stay, uh, I can hold the rooms or wh whatever you guys want me to do. You know, it might be a good idea to hold the room. Yeah, it might be a good idea. Add a character side note real quick. I bought pink dice just for this game. Oh, good deal. Nice. I love that. Absolutely love that. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So. Okay, so. She says, yeah, that she'll hold the rooms. And, um. So. What do you guys want to do? Well, I think it's time to go for that cave to access we lost somebody. the, uh... We lost, uh, Xander. Go ahead, continue. Oh. I, I think we should, uh, go to that cave to access underneath the, the part. Everybody, everybody agree? Yeah. 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 Yep, I've got, I, I, I've had my bag <laughs> pretty much ready, just waiting for them to to decide that that's that's what they wanted to do because I my character wouldn't dare go he he wouldn't want to go and do it and check it out by himself because he's he's not yeah no, yeah that that type, sense. but he but he's pretty much ready knowing that they would be ready to go anyway. Okay, so you guys all exit and head towards your guys' van. Yeah, I get on the bike again. <laughs> okay, so you guys managed to make it to the the community park uh, because the you can't just drive down to the the old mine shaft, the cave. You got to go through the community park in order to get there. So you guys park at the community park, and, and Josh has not arrived yet. And, um, you guys get out, and it's another busy day, and you can hear over, like, a, a PA system talking about, today we have a very special guest, David Fielding, who plays Zordon on the hit television show Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, will be here today in his own park. The park was named after him. And so we're very glad to have Mr. Fielding. And you guys managed to get out. You got grab your things. Josh is still not here yet. What do you guys want to do? I'll just say out loud, just sitting in the driver's seat park, you know, I really wish you would just get in the van. Yeah, me too. It'd be so much easier on all of us if you'd just get in the van. Like we can strap the bike to the to the hood. It's really not an issue to do that. We'll do that. You know, he's he's always gone to the beat of his own drum, though. Although. Yeah. I, I don't know why he didn't sit at the table for for Grace. That was... Well... And it was a bit rude. Yeah, that... Uh, honestly, I felt that was disrespectful. I'm not really that religious, but I'll... I'll do I mean, the I customs mean, of the host. Yeah, you know? right, right. I mean, I'm not either. It's just, you know... They opened up their 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 house to us and everything, and yeah, 
I, I know he's got his own reasons for doing what he does, but yeah, I, I don't know. Like, like, he, he's always got a seat at the table, you know. You, you don't have to. Yeah. You don't have to eat in the corner, you know. Mm. Yeah, I mean, he's he's an interesting character that I can't quite put a finger on. Not even sure he can put a finger on himself. <sighs> I don't know if I want to get into stuff about putting fingers and, and <laughs> never mind. Just hey, hey now. <sighs> What are you getting at? <laughs> nothing, I, I, I kind of, while there's Sam, I'm kind of snickering and just trying to like not make it obvious that I I found that funny. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying there's a joke in there somewhere, and I don't know if I should go with it. The smartest guys, the dirtiest minds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm going to reach into the glove box. I'm going to pull out a pair of binoculars. I'm going to look out the window to try and see if I can see him pedaling down the street on the binoculars. Mm. Not yet, no. <laughs> wow. We really smoked him this time. We did. It definitely seems like we did. But what, uh, what about that event going on over there? I, I, uh, Wonder what's we can go check out what's going on over there. And as I'm kind of referencing to the uh, to old Zordon being in the park there. I mean, we got time to kill. We got time to kill. I mean, we we could be sitting here for another hour, so we might as well enjoy some of the festivities. Okay, so you okay. guys. Oh, go ahead, Jack. I was just saying, yeah, I'm just agreeing. So you guys carry your bags around with you and you head to the middle of the park and you see, you see that everybody is there to celebrate uh, Mr. Fielding who played Zordon. And you can see all kinds of kids there and they got their Power Ranger shirts and they got their action figures and you see some adults there who's got like comic books and video games and just... All kinds of very assorted, uh, you know, Power Rangers memorabilia, things like that. Right. And uh, you can see that they're, uh, they're basically there to honor David Fielding. And um, David Fielding seems very grateful and gracious to be there. And uh, what what exactly are you guys looking to do? Oh, well, I'm kind of huh. I was saying I just kind of want to look around, see what they kind of where everything's at, what's going on, you know. I'm a bit curious to see what he has to say. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm gonna make note that. Um... Just like, oh, well, like you know, it, it, it's, it's cool to see him. I, I've never actually met him in person before, but uh, I, you know, I, I, I kind of grew up watching, watching Power Rangers. You know, he, he was a little bit before me, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, it, it, I, I want to take this chance to try and see if I can meet him. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. Yeah, that would probably be pretty nice. You can see that uh, several people have flocked towards him. Are you guys going to try to do that now? Or are you going to wait till later? Well, I'm going to peek through my binoculars real quick to see if he's uh, caught up down the road yet or not. Then I'm, I'm just going to kind of think to myself here too. Say that he's Cal's finding this interesting. That you know, knowing that he knew that there is the the show, hmm. but that. You know, obviously, you know, knowing that the, the that the idea of Power Rangers is is very much a a real thing, seeing as there is a 
a team that, that defended his planet in the mm. exact same way. So he's more just kind of interested to see if he can meet David Fielding to kind of pick his brain of what he knows about the show to see if, like, if something can, like, tell me if, if maybe he's an alien from another planet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how do you do, fellow aliens? <laughs> so, you guys, uh, you are eventually able to get up to him. And uh, he's got some kids around him, too, and he's signing some autographs. And, uh, kind of talking to some of the kids and whatnot. Yeah. What do you guys want to do? Well, I'm assuming I haven't seen Lucas through the binoculars, so I'm going to assume we got time. Lucas is just arriving. Eh, we got another ten minutes. So... I we, was, have... we, huh? I was going to say, I just kind of want to look around. You know. Well, might as well. You can well, see... Uh, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just going to say, well, we might as well take the time to meet him. So, Yeah, you can see uh, if you, when you look around, there's like uh, different like food vendors and uh, games like there was uh, yesterday and, mm -hmm. and things like that. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are more like Power Ranger themed, though. Yeah. Well, since we got the time to kill, I want to go ahead and uh, and 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 approach him. Then, um, I, I, I just want to. I, so I guess it is is are the kids like in line? Wait, are we waiting our turn? Or? No, it's basically like there's not really a line. It's just people have approached him. He's just got, like, people around him, and, you know, people have said hi and gotten autographs and uh, kind of thinned out when they got their autographs, and nobody's really talking to him for a lengthy period of time. Hmm. And you guys are just, enough people have thinned out that you guys have managed to kind of get up there. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I, I want to go ahead and uh, and approach him then, and uh, and just tell him that I, that I'm a a big fan of his uh, from from his his work on the show, and uh, again, just trying to like gauge if if he's uh, like from like. A potential handshake just to see if, if I can get a vibe if he's if he's from Earth or or somewhere else if, before I, I I poke and prod. You know what? Let's see if you can make a culture check. Kai, see here. That'll be under your smarts. Oh, culture is the one freaking thing I don't have. Uh oh. I've got something in literally everything else, but nothing in culture. Uh oh. Well, dims the ropes. Yep. <laughs> well, that's that's a snag then. Yep. Okay. All right. So what am I doing? So you're gonna make you'll roll you'll take a d twenty, and since you're not trained in culture, you'll roll the d20 twice, and you'll take the lowest result. Okay. Okay. I want to make a an two. All right. What, Jeff? I want to make an offer real quick out of character, by the way, and since this is recorded, you guys will have it. So, um, real quick, I just want to say if anybody wants colors of the dice for their ranger, I will buy that for them. But go ahead. Awesome. That's all. 
That's what about all. me though? I'm not a ranger. You tell me what color you want, I got you. Yep. There you go. Yeah, and this is for those playing in the game, I want to say, since I'm on this recording. But go ahead. I'm done. I, that's all. You know, that's 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 very nice of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Gotta think about that now. Yes, much appreciated. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know what, Jack? If you can find it, or I want orange. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll rock that red. I'll rock that red. All right. There's a site that's having 40% like off, so, yeah. Can I, can you get pink for cheap? I just got pink for cheap, yeah. Can I get pink as well, if you don't mind? Oh, you don't want it in your ranger color? He already has black in his oh, ranger color. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, then. All right. I got frosted pink. I'll go over with you if you want a different style. There's a site. I'll, I'll link it to everybody later, but yeah. I appreciate cool. it. Awesome. Mm. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it looks like the ranger dice, like the official ranger dice, are set to um, come out in June. Ah. There's not a lot of difference. It's just a, a couple sides have uh, have lightning bolts, mm -hmm. and then the D2 is like a power coin. It's a, a helmet on one side and a zord on the other. Okay. Mm. Just let me. I'm gonna take a drink. Let me know those results when you can, Justin. Yeah. So it was. Um, it was a. Uh, fuck. It was a, a two. A two. A two. So. How? Uh, never mind. Cause I say because I've I've got that that uh, story point, but I can only use that to reroll if it's a one. So never mind. Yeah. So you're not. <clears throat> by handshakes things like that you're not able to determine if he's an extraterrestrial or not you're as far as you know he's just a, a, a standard human okay it's worth a shot you know absolutely being, being, being a ranger from another planet another galaxy and and Earth happens to have a show about, <laughs> about the same thing I lived. Yeah, I see that whiteboard going up. <laughs> Time to start connecting them dots. <laughs> Pretty much. So, anybody else want to talk to him or do anything? I'll uh, you know I'll offer to. Shake his hand, like you know, I'm a, I'm a man. I've actually never met anybody famous before, and I'm gonna ask him what it was um, like on the set. He uh, shakes your hand and goes, "Oh, thank you, thank you." He goes, "Well, it was always uh, real wonderful on the set. Everybody was super amazing to work with, and um, you know, I just." It's just, that's all I can really say. We didn't have any real issues uh, for the most part. Nothing, you know, that isn't standard for Hollywood, really. Oh, right, right. He goes, and uh, I got to watch a lot of those young individuals grow up. And, uh, you know, really shape who they became as actors. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, you know, I've I've had the the real privilege of meeting a lot of wonderful fans who are just so in, incredibly knowledgeable and um, just kind, just real kind. I remember I was at um I was at a convention not too long ago in uh, was in Illinois, and I met a real knowledgeable fan. Uh, his name was Justin, and he knew all kinds of different facts and uh, really picked my brain. He probably knew more than I did, and he kind of chuckles. 
Um, so it, it's been real, a real humbling experience, uh, to say the least. Well, yeah, you were you were part of a lot of people's, uh, you know, childhoods growing up and everything. Yeah. And mine too. Yeah, you, you, you know, it's you know things may have been great or may not have always been great, but they always got to tune into the show and. You know, forget about everything for a while. So, you know, I, I thank you for that. He goes, oh, I'm I'm very humbled by those kind words. And thank you for, for watching and uh, just, you know, I guess believing. Yeah, and th th thank you for, for being kind. It was always, it's, it's always been my pleasure. I believe kindness is is just so important in this in this day and age it goes far man it really goes far I'm gonna offer to shake his hand it really too. does it, it really does yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna offer to shake his hand too and say thank you what was that Jack I'm gonna offer to shake his hand too and say thank you he shakes your hand as well and uh, he goes, yeah, it's so good to see all of you today. I uh, I didn't know if a lot of people would really show up to this thing. I know that, um, you know, it's been a little while since uh, I've really been on the show. <laughs> so it's really nice to see this. There's so many people that have come out. Well, I mean, sport. it is your park. After all, <laughs> he chuckles and goes, I'm, I'm still humbled by that. Very, very humbled. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, it's uh, been a real nice experience. We, we kind of came here kind of, kind of last minute. Uh, we were really intrigued about the uh, earthquakes going on. You see, he looks kind of he looks uh, kind of nods and he goes, "Yeah, that is uh, that is kind of odd, isn't it?" Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, do 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 you do you live here or or are you you still about that Hollywood life? I'll kind of say with a with a grin. He kind of uh, kind of chuckles and goes, "Oh, I come here on occasion. I I have a a vacation house that I I come up here uh, every so often, but for the most part, me and the misses we usually stay back uh, at home and just kind of." You know, we just kind of relax for the most part. All right, right. That's understandable. He goes, I'm getting a little older, and I don't do as much acting as I used to. And so we try to do a lot of things together and, and just enjoy each other's company. Yeah, that's, that's very important. That's very important. So... Yeah. I was I was just curious because if you did live here, I kind of wanted to pick your brain a little bit about the uh, about the earthquakes. But you you might you might know as much as us, which quite quite frankly probably isn't a whole lot because you know we we live about what hour and a half two hours away, and we we just found it really peculiar that that these earthquakes were really localized, you know, being California, it's, you usually kind of feel that stuff when you're nearby. And he goes, well, I have been here for a couple weeks now where me and the missus have been on vacation, and we've experienced uh, the earthquakes from the little ones to the bigger ones. I did not know anybody outside of here was not feeling them, though. Yeah, that's that's actually what originally you know got got our attention because we we're we're college students we're college students and 
one of our friends uh, brought this to our attention while we were uh, studying. He goes, hmm. He goes, well, um, you're more than welcome to ask any questions. I'll do my best to to answer them. Um, unfortunately, I'm I'm not a seismologist, so I probably won't be a lot of help, but I'll most certainly help in any way that I can. Well, what was the biggest quake that you felt here, and how soon was that? Was how recent was that? Do, see, they, kind of, do, oh, do they seem do they seem to be getting gradually bigger, or is it kind of just all over the place? You see that he kind of thinks about it. He's like looking up, and he's working the the past, like what's been going on. He goes, "Well, now that you mention it, uh, when I the day I got here, uh." There was no earthquake. The, a day later, there was a small earthquake. And, you know, being in California, nobody thinks anything of it. Right. Uh, it's just a normal thing. But, um, you know, now that you you mention it, um, I guess you could say that the, the quakes have been getting gradually larger with each one that happens. Which is kind of odd and, um, well, if I may say it, a little terrifying. Yeah, um, I'm no science expert like Cal, but I think I can reason enough to say it could be in preparation for something bigger to come. He goes, well... I hope not, you know. Um, I, I don't really know what else bigger could happen, but I definitely hope it's nothing major. Yeah, same, same here, same here. Because this is a this is a pretty beautiful city. He goes, yeah, I love it here. Um, it's a little. It's a, it gets busy, as you know. It gets real busy. Of course. And uh, me and the missus have come to, like, a little bit more uh, quiet. A little bit more peace. Mm -hmm. So we come here just when the missus wants to go out and about and go shopping. This is one of the best places to go shopping, as you probably know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But other than that, we just, uh, we don't come to here as much as we used to now that we're older. It's it's a little harder for us to get around uh, compared to when I was younger and she was younger. Mm -hmm. He goes, oh, go ahead, Kyle. Oh, I was just figuring. Oh, okay. Um, you see as you're talking to him, a couple other kids kind of come up to him and he uh signs autographs and smiles and takes some pictures and and whatnot. And um, somebody kind of walks up to him and kind of whispers something in his ear. And he kind of nods and he looks at you guys and he goes, I do apologize. I hate to cut this short, but uh, there's a couple things that we I need to do for the, the upcoming parade. Oh, of course, of course. He goes, I... I apologize, and it was wonderful talking to you. Wonderful talking to you, and me too, too. Yeah, yeah I, absolutely. And, and uh, I, yeah, oh, I want to say, and, 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 well, thank you for, for being here, and, and who knows, maybe with all this, uh, a real-life Rita Repulsa just might be out there. You see, he chuckles, and uh, he, he kind of shakes his head laughing, and then he looks at everyone, and he goes... Zordon has to go now. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and he he kind of smiles and then turns around and begins to walk off. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> 
Oh. Is, is that basically how it was, Jack? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. Yeah. And, and, and uh, he turns and kind of walks off. <laughs> By this time, Josh has made his way into the the park and uh, is kind of caught up with you guys. You know, you could have just strapped a bike to the roof of the van and could have rode with us, right? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. That's it. It's nah. Has he right, sounded right, right. often? <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, true. Like, like no, no, none of us are gonna bite you, right? We don't, we don't, we don't have. I don't know. You know that. We, don't, we don't have, you know, cooties or anything, you know, deadly. Yeah. I I feel like, if anything, he'd be the one to bite us. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's fair assumption. Yeah. Okay, uh, so. Well, that was nice meeting. Oh, David Fielding, though, that was very nice. But we got we got business to attend to now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you guys want to do? I recommend we go to that cave. Yeah, I think we should too. Let's let's get going. Okay, so you guys don't know exactly where the cave is because you've never really ventured there. You've heard of it, but you don't exactly know specifically where. So let's see. Make a, I guess I'm going to say survival check. All right, I'm good at that. Will of us, I or? I have a D2 in that, what's that mean? So, you will roll a D20, mm -hmm. and you will flip a coin. Um, or, if you don't want to flip a coin, you can roll a D6, and 1 through 3 will be 1, 4 through 6 will be 2, however you want to do it. I'll I'll do the D six option. Um, okay. I'll roll the D twenty now, and then you add them together and tell me the total. Okay, so my total is twenty one, but I got a four on the D four. Okay, then you would roll. Uh, what was it? I think you roll that again. My my total I is twenty. I rolled a D four again. I believe so. I need. To, I'd have to. I'll research that after the game. I don't. I don't remember, but I believe if you roll, no, it's a crit. Never mind. You don't roll again. It's a crit. Okay. Okay. okay so I, you said survival. Correct. Okay. So then, then I try. I've got a D two in that. So then, what again? Is it you that, roll? Uh, you will roll a D twenty, and then you will flip a coin, and one side will be uh, one, heads, or one side will be one, one side will be two on the coin. So you'll roll okay. a D twenty. Whatever you flip on the coin, you'll add those together, and you'll tell me the total. And if gotcha. you don't want to flip a coin, you can just roll a six-sided die. One through three is one. Four through six four is through two. Three, two. You can do that as well. However, I have, I've, I've got an actual coin, power I, coin. I remember. Oh, that, that's why I brought yeah. it up to you. I remember uh, last game you actually had a Power Ranger coin you were flipping. I got okay. a six on my D6, so that's a two, and I got an 18, so that's 20. I got a 10 on my D20 and a 2 on my D4. Same. So I've got a 10 and a 2. Okay, so... Josh, did you want to make a survival check? My total is 16. 16? Okay, so Jeff, yeah. Jeff, Kyle, and Josh. Yeah. You guys have uh, never been to the cave personally, mm -hmm. but you know where it's at because uh, back when you guys were in high school, people would go there to party. Yeah. So, 
they would go there to party. And uh, so you guys have never actually been in inside of it, but you know where it's at. Right. So would I would I know anything else off the crit? You know what, Kyle? I'm gonna make this fun. Ask me a question and I'll answer it honestly. Oh question. Okay. <laughs> that is fun. He's gotta answer it honestly. Why well, you think that is to say it, it, Little, little out of character comment. I feel like like uh, Josh's character would be the skill check. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what what are the known hazards of the cave? That's a good question. The known hazards that people know about are bats, and there's been known to be sudden drop offs. Okay. That uh, people, if you don't go prepared and you don't have a light source and you don't know it's there, uh, people have known to fall and get quite hurt. All right. There is also banana people. <laughs> What's up, Jeff? There's been known as banana people. <laughs> We're going to go down there. There's going to be bananas in pajamas. <laughs> Are storming up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> so I will relay that information uh, as as we're making our way to the cave I'll say well we gotta be really careful here because bats are known to hang around in there and we're definitely gonna need some light sources because the cave is known to have sudden drop offs unexpectedly and if you're not looking where you're going, you can get hurt. Well, let me throw this out here. here, here here's something where maybe I can I can help. So, because when you know, since we need like a light source, we, we, so with technology, I've got a D4 and a specialty in engineering, um, which to the book says that I've got the ability to to use technological tools to implement. Uh, at hand to fashion tools and equipment needed to solve specific problems. Okay. So I might be able to help us out if that is in case they're not fully prepared, but if, if necessary, I'd be like, I, I've got that skill that can try and help us implement, maybe not necessarily on light, but as we traverse through the cave. You guys kind of see a, a, a person walk by you as you guys are talking, and he goes, well, the banana people are scary. <laughs> but, but banana people? Oh, yeah, I've heard rumors about banana people, too, but... Do they do, uh, like... I always thought that was just an urban legend. Do they do weird things, like, like change colors? Are you asking him that? Yeah. He goes, I don't know, man. It's kind of weird, but... Oh, dude, they just smell like bana bananas. Oh. He goes, you guys, haven't you guys, have you guys not heard? I mean, I've heard urban legends. I've heard urban legends of them. Bird is the word. He goes, no, man, I knew that was going to come up, though. The bird is the word, but that's not it. <laughs> he goes, no. And he leans in like he's looking real private. And he goes, David Fielding is a banana bird. <laughs> what? We just met him. We just met him. He's not a banana. Yeah, wasn't he sweet? Well, well I mean, I guess. I, 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 yeah, it, but it doesn't mean he's a banana. It, 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 it would be genetically impossible for him to be a banana. Well, yeah, why? Like said. why would it be impossible? You don't know, dude. You know what's good if I run out of jelly to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? I take peanut butter and I cut up bananas. But peanut butter and banana sandwich. I think Elvis used to eat those. But you're not worried like about hurting the banana people, like eat them? Well no, not the people. I mean the fruit. He goes, Whoa. Yeah. He just looks at you and smiles, he goes, Bro. Tasty. 
You should try it. Peanut butter and banana sandwich. He goes, all right, cool. And he just kind of walks off. <laughs> I, just, I just smirk at everybody. I think he's had a little bit of that loco weed. Yeah. It's funny cigarettes. Yeah. Wacky it's tobacco. Wacky. <laughs> you know. All right. So, <laughs> go ahead. What are you what are you lovely people doing? Um I'm going to wonder if I could use my cell phone as a light source. The flashlight on it and just like go into I mean, the cave. It, it does have a fla- I mean yeah. I think every smartphone nowadays yeah. has a flashlight. Yeah. So. yeah. Even yep. even my even even my garbage phone had it. Yeah, that's yep. what I'm saying. I'd imagine yep. you could. And yep. I think every cell phone nowadays. Yeah, yeah. Has a, a yep. flashlight. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you guys are you guys can see the entrance of the cave, and it's got like a, a sign there that says like "keep out" and whatnot. But you can tell by the litter mm-hmm. in, in front of it and the inside that nobody listens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, many a legendary party have taken place here. I've I've been to a few myself. And really? it has been twice. Away. Yeah, not often since you know we live mm-hmm. farther away, but you know once or twice. Go ahead. Oh no! I was just saying, so, like, well, if you, you, you somehow you don't quite strike me as a partier. Who me? So, yeah, so you do seem to get in trouble a lot, so maybe that's where that comes from? Oh, uh, she I likes mean, to party hardy. Yeah. Yeah, me. Dude, we used to... I was always... To... I was, I, me, on the other hand, I was always too wiped out for shifts at the diner. Man, we used to... We used to have a little bit of that uh, wacky back here, around here. That's how yep. I got into, like... Somebody told me about adding peanut butter to a to a to a hamburger, and that's how I started adding it to everything because they were they were stoned. And here and here <laughs> I thought you was just part of the Mr. Peanut fan club. Well, I mean, I am. I like Mr. Peanut. Planters <laughs> is the best peanut. I do make pretty good peanuts. Yeah. Well, grow pretty good peanuts. Buy pretty good peanuts. They have good peanuts. <laughs> it, they produce peanuts and they're tasty. It's what and and I'm, 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 I feel like while we're talking, like we're walking and talking, yeah. and yeah. and so and I'm, I'm just like, or do that. Just keep hearing like the crunch under my feet of like cans and garbage and stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm just kind of like looking disgusted to... as we keep stepping over things, mm-hmm. like shaking my feet to 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 get wrappers and stuff off of there because it's been completely trashed. Oh yeah, I'll uh, I'll stop for a second, yeah. and I'll bend down, and I'll see a bag that says Sawyer's Family Diner. Shake my head. Oh come on, come on! I want to see my family's place associated with this litter. That's a bad look for us. As my uncle would say, it's bad business. I. Look look at it this way. Yeah, it's bad and they shouldn't be doing it, but people will know about it. They won't blame it on the diner. They'll just blame it on the person who did it. You know? Yeah, yeah, that's true. I, I still don't like seeing it. Yeah, it's pretty. It's 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 pretty. It's pretty junk. It's it's it sucks. You know I what? Not, I hope you're not calling my food junk. No, I mean, it's junk that they're doing. You know what? She's going to bend down and pick up the junk and, like, ball it up and put it in her pocket. When we find a trash can, I'll throw it away. All right. Okay, so you guys managed to make your way a little bit deeper. And uh, you guys see an area that drops off. You're not entirely sure how deep, uh, but it seems to be a pretty, pretty deep drop off. I'll, uh, I'll pick up a a rock. I'll just toss it down there, and wait to see how long it takes before I hit a hear it 
hit the ground. Okay. You uh, kind of take a little pebble and toss it, and it goes for a couple seconds, and you can hear it go. <laughs> kind of bounce off the, the ground and the other rocks. Other rocks below. I'll uh, You're... turn to Cal. How, how about how how far a drop do you think that is based off of that? Uh, you would say probably about 30, 40 feet. Ugh. I'm sorry, I don't know if, if, if I'm supposed to respond to that or... I was asking you that. Yeah, I, I, I based upon the sound and and the way that uh, from the, that it seems to be bouncing off of there, I I, I would say anywhere between twenty forty feet, give or take, Ugh. enough to do some damage if we were to to fall. Goodness, yeah, that's just, that's a pretty steep drop. Oh, I look over the Effie. How's, how's your phone battery looking? We need to switch uh, cell phone lights. Uh, your battery, your batteries, your batteries, about eighty percent. I th I think we'll be all right. It's eighty percent. All right, all right. Cause I I don't want to join that pebble. Yeah. I mean, all 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 those uh. Training practices teaching how to fall safely. Nothing teaches you to fall safely from that that from that distance. Right. And then if, if it just if, if if it just so happens like when your phone starts to die, you know, don't worry about it. I I, uh, I got some things here in my bag. I, I managed to uh, for such an occasion when I'm on the go, made a, a makeshift charger for to for the go for on the go. For phones, and it seemed to work out pretty well so far for me. My Giver's on the case. Might might void your warranty, though. You might want to be a little careful. Say that last bit again. Said so my Giver's on the case, but you might want to be a little careful. Might void your warranty. Hmm. So, how do you guys want to approach this? I want to take a stock of our surroundings. So, looking around yourself, basically you see nothing but rock all the way around you, except for behind you is where you guys came from. In mm -hmm. front of you is the drop-off. There's, there's no... Other, there's no other twisty turns, no other passages. Pretty much, uh, you leave or you go further, type situation. All right. Well, we got it. We got to go further. Like we, we got to go further. That's that's why we're here. We got to go further. That's my vote, anyway. Yeah, I'm 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 with you. If we if we have the if we have the tools or or perhaps the materials, I can I can possibly make shift something. I've I've man I've known to I you know I'm not all technology, but I tell you this, technology is great for being able to help out. And I've got a few things in my bag that we can probably. You know, we can find a couple, a couple, a uh, couple things around here that we can link up and, and maybe find a way around here. What, what, what crazy invention you think uh, you got in your bag for this situation? Well, I mean, I, 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 some, some basic things. So, you know, got, got a little, uh, got a, like a, an extension, a little, a little like extension pole here that I, I made to be able to. Uh, get to even just for for home, just to be able to get things up on, on higher without the need without the need of a ladder. 
and you know, just a, a, some some interesting little electronic tidbits here that uh, that might be able to, to you know to to gauge how far we're looking at, you know, and 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 maybe if we can put a couple of these extenders together with perhaps maybe some sharper stones, we can make even maybe a grappling hook that we can climb with. Well, all right. Well, you just tell me what to look for, and I will I will help to the best of my ability. <laughs> so let's see here. What do I want to have you do? I'm going to say with Justin being as prepared as he is, uh, because he has a bag of everything pretty much needed. <laughs> if you guys want to pay um, like a story point, mm -hmm. I'll just say that Justin in his backpack brought like a makeshift ladder that you can that you can use. I'm all right with that if, if everybody else is. Yeah. Okay. So you, you Justin, you you managed to pack a a ladder just on the rare occasion that you might need it. And <laughs> lo and behold, you need it. Okay. With uh just a couple of extension poles and that and a couple of little nooks and crannies, I'm, I, I'd say I'm able to uh, kind of form a ladder. Not I don't know if I necessarily would have it, but uh, but rather the ability to more like a collapsible ladder would be something more that fit in a bag, probably something that just well, like with a snap and kind of unfold. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. You have like a. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm expecting to have like a WWE like twenty foot ladder that just comes no. out of a magic backpack. No, it's backpack, more like backpack. several pieces <laughs> that you would connect together to form a long enough ladder. So yeah, you have the the necessary pieces, and you, it's long enough that you'd only have to fall about five feet. So you'd climb down and have to fall about five feet down. Uh, that's that's not too bad, honestly. Yeah, it's could be worse. <laughs> All right. Well, then, if there is a uh, no objections, I'll be the first to uh, traverse it. So, real real quick before we go there, so you you said <laughs> with with a story point. So, you had last session, you had given me a story point for the for elbowing the kid in the face. Um. <laughs> So, is, is, are we talking about using that story point, or um, you guys get enough? You guys get story points equal to the number of players. Gotcha. Oh, I didn't know we got that much. Mm -hmm. So, equal to the number of players in the group. Okay, okay, I did not know that. Yep. I see. So, when when you awarded a story point, that's not necessarily something individual, as it is. It's, it's something for the whole group. Yes, it goes into a pool. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it goes okay. into the pool for all the all of you guys. Okay. okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So you, when you awarded a story point, did that mean that we started with six and then we got a seventh, or is it like one point for everybody then giving us six? It'll be you guys had. Or I guess uh, it'd be four. It would have been five, right, or four? Because it, yeah. it was a, it was four of us, or what was? No, it was five of us. Yeah, no, there was five of us. We yeah, were five. five. So six. When you Plus awarded the, the point one. last session, it was five points essentially, because one point for everybody. If yeah. I'm understanding mm -hmm. that right, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's five, yeah, five plus the one, so you get six total. You guys just used one. You're back down to five. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, you guys managed to get the ladder going and stretched all the way down. You'd have to fall about five feet. What do you guys want to do? Well, if there's no objections, I'll go While first. While they're building the ladder, I should down. So you guys see that Lucas just begins climbing down. I'll just blink in disbelief. I... Uh, Alright, then. Well, I guess I'm going next. 
Yeah. I'm gonna go after uh, Chelsea. I'm gonna watch her, make sure she doesn't slip up or have an accident. You guys all managed to make it down just fine. Alright. So, upon getting to the bottom, you notice it's, it's, it's a little bit larger, but it does have a pathway that goes down. And you can see old uh, wooden boards and, like, a frame that's been built because uh, it's an old mine shaft. Mm -hmm. And so... It's got a lot of framework done along the cave walls and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And you can see like an old mine cart and a track system that looks like it hasn't been used in in a long time. It's probably been here a good 150 years, it looks like. <laughs> I wonder if it works. I'll uh, I'll press my hand against it and try and press against it, see what happens. Yeah. It does move, but it it's you can hear it making all kinds of uh, noises. It's you're not really sure if it would be a super good idea use it. I'm just going to leave that alone. Yeah, it, it's it's probably so old that, you know, and, uh, something, something bad could happen. We should probably just press on. <coughs> excuse me, press on. And I'm saying this in character. All of it. So, I'll uh, take a look at our new surroundings. So we got we got the we got the cart and everything. What what uh, visible paths do I see? So it goes one way and it goes and it kind of veers to the right, not just a straight cut, but mm -hmm. like a, a curvature, like a road. Mm -hmm. It goes and it kind of veers to the right. And I want everybody to make an alertness check. All right. Oh snap! Alertness. It's a D two. Where, what category is alertness under? That would be smart. <clears throat> it is smart. Okay. Oh, good. I do have a D2 in that. Good. So, so I good. have a D4 and a specialization in perception. Oh, that'll come in perfect. So is what you'll do, Justin, is you'll roll a D20, a D4, and a D2. You will take whatever is the result on the 20-sided dice, and the highest result of your D4 or your D2 and add whatever's the highest result of th those two to your D20 roll. You said a D4, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. It looks like a pyramid. That uh, rip. I got 12 total, by the way. Okay. I got 6 total with the 1 on the coin. I got a 1 on the okay. coin as well. Okay, so, right, so just Again, you said a 20... And what, and then take that result plus the highest result of a four and a two. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cole, Josh, did you guys want to make some checks? Yes, I already did. I got an 11 on my D20, and I got a 2 on my D2. Okay. I got the same as him, but a 1 on my D2. Okay. What about you, Josh? I got 20 total to 2 on my D2. Okay. God, I... Just like my board game, my rolls are fucking terrible. <laughs> I, I got an 11 and a 4. No. <sighs> Oh, well, but that 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 four is a crit though. Yeah. Well. Four. Oh yeah, it is a D four. Yeah. So when you guys look, anybody with a ten or higher or in a crit, you notice that along the ceiling, 
there's these decently large, uh, and they look like part of the, the cave, but they're like hanging, they're hanging down, and they look large and like bulbous. Almost like um, a giant ball. A giant ball attached to the cave wall. And there seems to be... A, a, you don't even know how many, but a lot of them that align the top portion. Quite hard to see. So I'm completely oblivious. I'm completely oblivious to it. Yep. So I think my headset cut out a little bit there. So what what did you say that we're we're kind of seeing? You see along the cave uh, ceiling. You see that there's many. You don't know how many exactly, but a lot. And they're like large uh, balls that that look like they're made out of rock. Hanging down from the ceiling, so almost like little, like like boulders, just hanging, like kind of like little boulders. Yeah. Now, is Josh and Justin the only ones that can see this? Anybody that had a ten or higher, ten or, or higher. Crit. Okay, I can also see it. Huh. So Cole can see it too. I, ge I gesture up to them and say, take, take a look at that. That's... Take a look at what? Uh, I motion for Chelsea so she can see. Can I'll see? squint to see if I see it. You can barely see it. You can't make out any detail or anything of the sorts, but you can barely see something hanging. I try to shine the light. When you shine the light up there, you can... Uh, you can see it moving. Uh, you can see it better. You can almost see it moving. Moving? What? And, and, and I'm just kind of... Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. But I'm, I'm just like, these... Like, they're, they're almost... It's, it's the idea... Of a, a stalactite, maybe the maybe it's the 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 winds, or perhaps the for a little deeper in the cave, perhaps it's the the vibrations of of Earth's gravity that's making these things shake. There's there's got to be a reason why these things would be looking the way they do. Stalagmites. Stalag. Go ahead. What I was, what did Josh say? I thought the lag nuts. <laughs> yeah, the the, the tights hang from the top, and the mites are on the bottom. Yeah, my character was just about to say, yeah, stalactite. The way I was told to remember it is stalactites hang tightly from the ceiling. Stalagmites might make it to the ceiling from the ground. Tight versus might. Oh. And, and I'm just gonna be like, you know what else is tight or might? What? Your mom. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I'm kind of just like, hey, that's 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 messed up, man. That's messed, that's messed up, man. Don't 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 talk about my mom like that. <laughs> and it found its way into the game. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With the character that has quick to anger to start a fight, but I'm not about to. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. Uh... What so, what, 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 what I want to do is. Um, to what, you know, again, to, to search through my, my magical bag, because remember, I, I didn't really bring any clothes or anything extra. I just brought, like, everything I potentially could throw in my bag. So it's not exactly the most comfortable thing to carry around, and it's, it's bulging with, like, everything I could throw in there. 
Right. And I'm and I'm, I'm just I'm looking to see if I have anything that I could use to either um, project the cell phone light into something brighter, or if I if I happen to have, have brought like a a, a heavier duty light myself. I would almost assume you would have a heavier duty or light. So I'm going to say, yeah, you probably have some form of heavy duty flash flashlight. Yeah, and, and of course it would be something I I built. It wouldn't just be something sure. I brought from a store. I, I would have built it to to achieve what I wanted to achieve. Yeah, doesn't right. mean it's going to work the best, correct? Or, or for that long. But it, it'll do something. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna. The others are just gonna see me like taking, like kneeling down and just kind of like, digging through my my wonderful backpack backpack again, huh. and uh, Dora the Explorer reference there. Okay. Um, <laughs> just kind of digging through my backpack, just rustling through it, to, and like, ah, Eureka! There it is. Those big boulders aren't going to fall on us, are they? You never know. They're, they're, they're scary looking. And so I've, after my exclamation of Eureka, I'm going to pull this this very wiry, bulky, not much of a flashlight looking flashlight. And I'm going to try and, and, and uh, connect a couple wires here to to flip it on to look up at the top with a, a bit of a better look. Okay, so you managed to get your flashlight hooked up, essentially. And you turn it on and the light goes from, like, your little cell phone lights to drastically bigger. And you shine it up to look up and you can see that these are definitely uh, some form of really odd... Uh, formations along the ceiling that are they look to be made of rock from what you can tell but they're high enough up that you can't get a really good look at the intricate detail the light shining on them however you can see that it whatever is up there seems to be partially translucent and inside you can see what looks to be Almost the shape of little babies. Humanoid babies inside. What? What? That's weird. What? That, 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 that can't be possible. There's there's no way that can be possible. It, this, I'll, I'll look at Cal. This, this isn't possible, right? And I... I can't really respond because I'm a bit freaked out because it's just reminding me of making me think of spiders. And much like myself, Cal will be very arachnophobic. So he's kind of frozen because he's only envisioning that it's just hundreds of thousands of spiders. I, uh, uh... Uh, I'm, I'm not the only one who thinks this. This I'll, I'll kind of look around a little frantically. I'm not the only one who can't think this is impossible, right? No, 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 no. I think I've seen this movie once before. Say that again, Josh. I think I've seen this movie once before. How have you seen this? Wait, wait. Oh, hold on. As in, you've seen this before? Or you ate a little bit too much cold pizza before bed and saw it in your dreams seen it before? Both. There's no way you've seen this before. How could you have seen this before? You should have been there. Huh? You should have been there. Should have been there. Been where? Everywhere. Is it just me or is Josh 
the way he sounds, he's coming across as a villain. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and, 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 well, and I'm, I just like I'm, I'm not paying much mind to their conversation. I'm just kind of like frozen with what I'm th with my own imagination here. But like instantly, like what's that? My, my light starts to just kind of like flicker. Like it's it's starting to go out already because it's homemade. It's makeshift for the high power that it that it that is portraying. It's not going to last that long. And so like and I'm just like. As it's starting to flicker, I'm freaking out a little bit more. Uh, guys, I'm not, not too comfortable. I think I kind of want to go back. Look, look. I, I get it. But something told us to come down here for a reason. Yeah. I think we need to go further in. Yeah, I agree. I just Lord. Huh? It's hard. I to start walking forward. You start walking forward. Okay. Hey, hey, hey! Hold on. We 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 haven't even decided which way we're going yet. Well, well I'm going this way. <laughs> Actually, laugh in character, and I'm. And I I visibly bury my hand in my face when when I hear the. And I say, I say. Well, I mean, if he's seen these before, maybe he knows something that we don't, and we should follow him. I don't think he's seen these before. I think he's messing with us. And and I'm just gonna like look over at uh, at Effie. I'm like, you're you're the you're you, you're the volunteer firefighter here, right? Did, did you, yeah. you you know you came prepared? Do you have any kind of rope or anything that we can use to to trace back? Because who knows how many tunnels are down here? I've seen enough movies. Huh? Yeah, he's got a point there. I'm gonna look and see. I, I don't. Well, I don't have any any rope, but maybe there's something we can use to mark to make a trail. Hey, your bag of peanuts. <sighs> oh. You know what? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I was going to save them to eat, but it'll help us get in and out of here, so yeah. Let me let me let me go. Let me go get that and I try to you know, let me let me get that. I try to pull out, you know, a bag of peanuts and I'm going to start like, you know, cracking some open and like getting ready to make a little trail. Uh, little pieces of peanuts. Okay, so you guys, like I said, you see it that it kind of curves right, mm. like a ro like a road. It's not mm. just a straight cut. And you guys go a little further down, and it just it's a straightaway so far. Mm. You eventually come to an area that would veer left or go straight. The problem is the area on the left looks like um, there was a uh, like when a, a cave like collapses. Mm -hmm. It looks like the cave had collapsed at one point in time, but it looks like a lot of the debris, especially the real heavy stuff, had been already been moved. That definitely catches my attention. It definitely catches my attention, and I'm going to turn the light on my phone for a second to kind of flash it down that way to see if I can get a better picture of down that path. You better see, um, you can kind of look through some of the cracks of the rocks, but it, it's real hard to get a good glimpse, but from what you can tell... It's definitely another area of the mine shaft that you can see the tracks on the ground. Mm -hmm. You're not sure where it goes, but it's definitely um, got your attention. Hey, hey, don't, 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 don
My last shot. shot. Yeah. shot. Go ahead. What were you going to say? I'm sorry. Let's wait till Josh comes back. Sorry. Yep. Yep. There he is, I think. Or, yeah. Alright, yeah. yeah so Let's make sure he can out. hear us and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Josh, can you hear us, bud? Hello? Josh, you there, bud? We lost him again. Lost him again. Okay, well, let's take a couple minute break um, to see if he comes back. Yeah. He must be having some some interwebs issues. Yeah. The interwebs is not being kind to him tonight. Yep. As I say, I, so far, I've I've really enjoyed the meta. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That that was that was funny. He said he has to restart the phone. Which one? The the David Fielding. Yeah, and then yep, and and Zordon and stuff. That was. Mm -hmm. And well, he, he's got he has a TikTok account too, which is funny. I linked that in the chat. Yeah, I was trying to make it uh, somewhat entertaining. Well, yeah. plus that, that that connects when when Josh got the the Green Ranger, big like a uh, stuffed animal thing. Yeah, I got the kid like a little action figure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and of course, I put little Easter eggs in there. Yeah. I'm just waiting for one of my my inventions to uh, to go like kaput and cause chaos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm expecting it. I'm expecting it. I'm Did expecting I say? It. I told you guys, Josh, that he's restarting his phone, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm. Uh -huh. I didn't. Know, I didn't know if you guys were enjoying it or not so far. Oh no, oh, we definitely. are, man. Yeah. This so. is Zordon the Veltar. Yeah. A new enemy has arisen, threaten all the worlds of the Morphin. Bring your power coins and morphers to the command center to receive new upgrades and abilities to combat this dire threat. Rangers, help me. In defense of the grid. That was a video he actually posted last year. Awesome. Oh, that's cool. Just to, to interact with the fans. That's actually cool. He's got a cameo. That'd be cool if, if we got like a cameo for him to like... Shout out to the show or to our our game shit. That'd be cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep, cool. I'm gonna keep uh, when the videos are uploaded like ready. I'm gonna keep putting them on uh, my YouTube and whatnot. So, so um, who is it? Keith, are you doing the the uploading or is Trent doing the uploading? I did the upload on the first one. Okay. And I. Well, like, I Tag does he, anybody, so. does, oh, nice! I think I saw that. So, does anyone have like a any kind of like video editing software? Nothing fancy, but enough to kind of cut out like some of the, like the repeat stuff or like the dead air. Jack yes. would be the only one yes, that I know. I, of. I I have that. I just have to actually sit and actually do it. Sure, Yo, Josh is, is back. Yes. All right, Josh, can you hear us, bud? I'm back. Okay. All right. You sound a lot better back. too. Back again. Mm -hmm. oh, Josh is back, back, back. Tell a friend. Anyway, okay. So, so, oh. so I was gonna point out the bit with the kind of some of the rubble, like what debris, what you said, partially cleared. Yeah, like all of the big, big stuff has been like already removed. A lot of it's just middle middle size little stuff that's just from top to bottom. Y oh. If you guys took a little bit of time, you could easily clear it out. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna point it out and be like, hey, uh, this this kind of, you know, caught my eye. A lot of the big debris has actually been removed here. You, you think it's worth uh, checking out? Yeah, yeah. Maybe somebody... It, 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 I'm probably stating the obvious here, but it sounds like somebody actually 
came through here, so maybe we should... That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Well, I'm ready to move this stuff. You wanna, you wanna join me? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I'm always up for some lifting. Okay. That would be, what, might? I'm not gonna make you guys roll for it. Okay. Yeah. okay. No, it's, it's a... It's a small enough task, and you're not under any pressure. Okay. Then Dang. It's Josh, Cole, <laughs> Justin, you guys I mean, help good. him out? I mean, that's good, though. But yeah. I'm going to revert to my, my backpack backpack, huh. and uh, I'm going to see if, if I have anything, because I, I don't... My character is weak. I've only got two in strength overall. Okay. So I'm going to see if I have a tool that can assist me in helping because otherwise I'm not going to be able to do like besides like little stuff like that you know they'll have to I'll help but I'm going to see if I have a tool to to assistance in which otherwise they'll have to do most of the heavy lifting I'm uh, like say... one of those robotic claws or something like that or like a say... or like a shovel or something that to, to just something like collapsible and yeah. it's like I built myself that I just you know you know, collapsible technology, that, that's going to be the name of the game here, because it all fits in a backpack, so. <laughs> I would say a shovel you would have, but not anything um, that could handle large boulders or anything super heavy. That's fair. So what I want to do then is, is pull out this little shovel, and much like I did back at the carnival game, where I, I kind of like quickly like analyzed you know the, the kid throwing so i kind of do the same thing of like the angles here um and, and we're gonna do some some sp quick spider watch you guys. We're, gonna, we're gonna do some quick spider-man math here um if you saw the new spider-man you know and he was facing dr strange and and did that quick math um i've, I've seen it's good yep so we're gonna, gonna do some quick math here just kind of like analyze this you know look at the the way that the boulders are kind of put together and I've got an idea. Hey guys, stay, I, I got a thought here. Uh, st st stand, stand back a little bit for me. I think if I dig, uh, if I take this shovel I have here, and just dig a little bit under the right boulder here at the bottom, it might make them all come down and open a path for us. Well, I, all right. I look to uh, Chelsea in a, in a. In a... With, like, an expression, like, eh, should we? Like, because of, well, I'm just going to say, the carnival game, man, that, that didn't go well for you. You sure? You sure about this? Yeah, yeah, let's give it a shot. Oh, I cover my right. face. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, Josh? He covers his covers face. His face. That's fair. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna try to dig under the right boulder, right, Justin? I'm gonna I'm gonna try and dig under one of the boulders that's kind of that that's kind of sticking out of the bottom, just to give it like enough like enough like um, removal of the ground around it, you know, to create like enough of a dip that would cause it to roll to bring the others down. Hopefully safely without causing this entire mine shaft to collapse upon us. <laughs> Make a might check to see if you're strong enough. Well, okay. Well, a lot of those, all those rocks on top of that little, the one on the bottom would make it real heavy. Wait, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm digging underneath the rock. Well, you still might need might to. I mean, you're still right. going to might because the ground is a lot of fair. Okay, hey, a lot of rock. I'm, I'm, I've got D4 and might. I'm. I got D6. Wow, damn. Well, so, so then what I, what I, what I, what I think I, what I want to do then, I mean, correct me if, if I can't do this, is I okay. I'll try it first, because obviously I don't know... I, I'm not instinctively thinking, oh, here, let me have you do this and just coach yeah. you what to do. Right. Let me get in there first and try it. And depending upon how that goes, maybe they can speak up and indicate that they 
maybe they can try it. That's a good idea. That's a good Absolutely. idea. Absolutely. Makes sense too. Makes sense. So I just want to dump I just want to go in and yeah. try and do it first. Yeah. And they're just going to kind of like let me. Yeah. Because I, I I think I have a good enough idea of what's going on. Right. And if you're struggling, we could be like, here, let one of us try that. Yep. Or so something. it's definitely a snag roll because I, yeah. I, my strength is, uh, is only two. I have nothing in might. So remind me one more time what I do on a snag. So on a snag, you roll 2d20 and you take the lowest result. Okay. I'll, I'll get that eventually. Mm-hmm. You're fine. Mm-hmm. Yep. This is new. Uh, no rush. Seven. Huh? You say, you say seven? A seven. You managed to kind of try a, a couple different times, and you get a little bit of dirt to kind of come out, but uh, you're not able to really make a difference. You're not able to really make a dent or anything. Okay, so as as I'm digging and nothing's like really happening, I'm. I'm actually visibly getting frustrated, more more like con- like a confused frustrated, and and just not understanding like why it's not working because the angle is right, but I'm just not thinking about like how tough the ground is to make mm-hmm. it work. You having trouble there, MacGyver? Yeah, a, 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 a little bit. The, the angle's right, the math is right, everything's perfect. It, it it should make these things fall down, but they're just they're not budging, and I I just you're not putting I enough can't... muscle behind it. Nice, come on, say need me to need me to assist. I I I mean, I guess that's the only choice we have. I'm I'm if it uh, if it's strength that it needs, you're definitely better suited than I. So what you want? So what you want to do is dig right here, and I kind of mm-hmm. like draw like a line in the sand almost with my foot, mm-hmm. just to kind of indicate like a, like an X marks the spot almost, and, yeah. and kind of hand the uh, the shovel over to Effie. Okay. I'm gonna. So <clears throat> you know what? For, I'm gonna go ahead and increase your die step by one for the good, the good narration and idea by Justin. Oh hell yeah! So you'd be rolling d6 for this roll. Oh hell yeah! Okay, all right. So d20 and then add a d6. Yep. You roll. A, you roll a d20 and a d6. You add them together. All right. Hold hold my peanuts. I say to Chelsea, please. I'll uh, grab the bag and hold them. Well, I didn't roll my d6 yet, but I can tell you, I got a 16. That's already good. Unnatural 20. Ooh, okay, nice. so mm-hmm. you managed to take a strike at the exact angle that you were told to strike, mm-hmm. and you quickly have to get out of the way because the rocks are beginning to fall. Oh, shit. So you managed to get out of the way, all of you in time, and the rocks fall. <laughs> And if the path is opened up, you can see that um, the the tracks are going. It veers off to the right again, goes straight and kind of slowly turns to the right. <clears throat> and it almost throws you off because it's almost as if this collapse was maybe... Put here on purpose. Huh. Oh, son of a gun, that actually worked. But this this looks a little too good. This looks a little too orchestrated, if that's the word I'm looking for. I think there's more here than we really understand going on here. So what do you guys want to do? Cage is just walking forward. I think this is definitely the path we should be taking. Cage Cage is already stepping over little 
little rubble pieces and heading forward. I'm, I'm going. Uh, well, I want to try and take my light from earlier. That that and, and try to like, hit it a couple times to get it to to shine our way again. You manage to hit it a couple times. It kind of flickers and then it comes on, and uh, you see the area and you guys you guys proceeding forward further. Yeah, mm. I am. As you all proceed forward, a, a ways in, you uh, you come you see along the ceiling. There's more of those odd. Ball, ball ships, kind of like pods, mm-hmm. I guess you could say. But you can also see now that there's some that is hanging off the sides of the walls and not just the ceiling. And it's getting thicker. The, the amount of like pods hanging from the ceiling and the wall, the walls are getting thicker. Mm-hmm. Getting we thicker. Get Okay. What do you guys want to do? I'm gonna try and get a closer look because this is really, really piquing my curiosity. Okay. What are you gonna look at? Well, I want to look at the pods. I want to look at the walls too. Okay, so when you look at the walls, uh, what ex- like I know you're looking at them, but how exactly are you approaching this? Well, I'm going to inspect them visually first. Then I'm going to place my hand on the wall to try and get an actual physical feel for it, see if it feels natural or artificial. Okay, Kyle, m- make me an alertness check with an edge. All right. You remember what edge does? Yeah, yeah. I, I rolled a d20 twice. And you take the highest result. Yeah. Alertness with an edge. All right. Oh, I'm so glad I got that. So that is a Blackjack 21. And it's the one on the coin and the natural 20. On one of the D20s. Okay, so that's Blackjack. So, that's Blackjack, baby. Hmm. So, at first inspection, it looks um, very rock formation type. When you feel it, however, you notice that the touch uh, does not feel like a rock so much as like clay. Clay. Yeah. Oh, this this isn't rock. This is clay. I wanna I wanna touch it as well. Feel it. You yeah. touch it. And you feel that it feels like clay, and you notice that the pods seem to be made out of the same the same kind of clay. And what I want to do, I kind of want to like join in in the, in the feeling of the walls, but I'm going to, for science, gonna uh, put on like a like a latex glove and try and just like scrape some of it off into like a test tube to take with me to analyze it later. All right, yeah, you you uh, managed to you put on a glove and you. You scrape some off, but it's not as easy to scrape off as you would expect. Like, it's clay, but it's, like, very hardened, dry clay. But you do manage to get a, a, a enough pieces that you can put in, like, a, a vial or a tube or, or whatnot. Okay. So I'm just going to securely... Put that tube into uh, like a, a a tougher section of my backpack that I I had like I don't know, I guess maybe like something like three D printed if you will just something that I had like stuck in my bag to protect like sensitive things like that in a separate pouch 
so that it's it's secured and and not uh, in any danger of of being crushed by the other items in my magical backpack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it makes sense. So you you managed to put it away in a a safekeeping, and it's you 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 think it'd be pretty good in protecting. You know, judging from the pods in these walls. I don't think it would be unreasonable to say that someone or something has intentionally constructed this. Why would they do this under the park? It's 20 to 40 feet under, underneath ground, nonetheless. And one, how do they get so much clay? Two, how much... How do they shape so much clay? And three, who would want to live down here anyway? Do you think some kind of machine could be causing earthquakes? I'm just kind of looking at it like, hey, you know, I. It wouldn't surprise me if. If someone was trying, if some big corporate company was trying to, was paying somebody off to not say anything going on down here. Hmm. But I'm definitely going to take this this sample when we get back to the B and B, and I'm, I'm going to I'm going to hook this up to a couple things. I'm going to see what uh what I can't figure out to see if it if it resembles anything that. That we know of, unless maybe maybe we maybe oh my gosh maybe we discovered a new element. This could be something brand new. This could be groundbreaking. I mean that is possible. That is possible. I mean, this is kind of a strange clay. I don't know. I you know I I've messed with clay you know a little before you know arts and crafts and school and whatnot. This This isn't any kind of clay I'm I'm used to. And then I'm I'm gonna kinda look over at um at Daniel. Cole over Cole's character Daniel because he hasn't he's been just kinda following along and just kinda going with the flow and just being like uh what what do you think about all this? Trying to make sense of all of it. <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm kind of just learning everything along with everything you guys are saying, and I don't really know how to piece it together. I just, the clay, like what, what do we know? What's inside of these things? Are we gonna check? I imagine probably some kind of. Science experiment, which I know that sounds very silly and implausible, but I've never seen an animal look like that. I'll kind of say pointing at it. Well, given what, given what we're looking at, I would say that you're probably not that far off. Oh, uh, well, we definitely need to get to the bottom of this. You know, I, I think I think this may be larger than we realize, or anybody for that matter. I'm just I'm thinking about this more, and, and you know, this this the what's interesting is it's known that you can get clay from the ground, almost kind of like mud, you know. Right. But there's really no moisture down here. Maybe maybe it's just me, but I'm not I'm not really feeling any real moisture in there. Not enough that would that on on average would would cause the material to to form this this clay like material here. Yeah, yeah, I hear you there. Uh, seems like the further we we'll go, the more questions we have. 
Well, maybe we should we should continue. We we may find we may find some answers. I'll nod. Yeah, I, I I have no intentions to stop. I feel like we're getting closer to whatever this is. Okay, so you guys, you guys gonna proceed forward? Yes. I tear open a pod first. Uh, okay, so make um, make a might check. Who, all of us? No, Josh said he's tearing open a pod. Oh, 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 oh shit. Jesus. Oh. 15. So you managed to uh, knock a hole and then grab the pod and just you, you tear it open and you see inside is a lot of uh, really, really thick some type of gooey substance. Hey, 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 what are you doing? And you can say oh. it kind of begins to seep out. And it's very thick, like, even thicker than syrup. And it begins to just seep out slowly. And what color is it? Hard to tell, but from what you can tell, it seems to be a really dark brown or maybe even a black liquid. Mm. And I instinctively want to pull out another test tube and get a sample. Hey, we, we, we don't know if that's poisonous or not. So what yeah, are you, you doing tearing that open? You managed to get a test tube out and, and get some more get some more of the uh, liquid inside. Just, I'm going to go ahead and shake that around and look at it a little bit as much as I can. In the, in you the go to shake it and it doesn't really shake. There's not a lot of shaking going on. It's very tar-like. Very, very thick liquid. Okay, so I'm, I'm just kind of... I'm, I'm fairly perplexed about this, but I, but as usual, I'm going to let the science speak for itself and mm -hmm. I just put the cap, put my test, my little sample away and and continue with the group. Oh, look at Lucas and be like, please don't do that again. Yeah, that... No, you, you, you could have just poisoned all of us for all we knew. We, right. we, we don't know what's in that stuff. And there's nobody that can help us down here if we get poisoned. I had to know... Well, to... I, 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 I get the curiosity, but I, I kind of would like to not die down here if we can help it. Who who knows what could have happened? It, it could have blown up for all we knew. And we could have been stuck in a really bad cave-in. Better look cool. Makes it look cool. Oh, I think uh, not causing a cave-in is even cooler. Let's uh, let's be a little bit more thoughtful going through, shall we? I agree. Just in case, we don't know what's down here besides these things and us. Okay, so you guys proceed forward. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. You guys proceed forward a little ways, about 50 feet, and you come to another drop-off. But it's only about 10 feet down. Alright. I jump down. Josh jumps down? Yeah, 10 feet is not will, too bad. Yeah. I will, uh, I will climb down. I will climb down. Is everybody climbing down? Yeah. Well, I'm I'm gonna look and and see if I brought my if I I if I had uh, 
brought my collapsible ladder with me, realizing I left it back at the at the first drop and never brought it, never like grabbed it and brought it back with me. So I'm gonna once I realize that I I just don't have that. I'm going to regrettably try to slowly, but surely, climb down. You managed to make it down uh, slowly and cautiously. And you guys see that again, it, it just it goes straight. It goes straight. You guys going to head that way? Yep. I mean, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So you guys head straight for another 50 feet or so. Justin, your flashlight ends up dying. Uh-oh. Okay. So you guys are right now in complete darkness. So uh, when, it, when it dies, does, does the bulb go out? Does the whole mechanism short circuit because it was makeshift homemade? or make a, make a technology check. Okay. Let's see if you know. <laughs> okay, technology. So that's uh, uh, you roll yeah. a d twenty. You roll a d twenty plus whatever you have in technology. Yep. So that's that's a, a d four with specialization in engineering. I would say I, I'll grant you. Um, you roll a d twenty plus a d four plus a d two, and take the highest result on the D4 or the D2 and add it okay. to the D20 result. Alright. The frenzy ending has been my favorite. I like it more than the running ending. But I haven't seen the normal ending yet. Alright, let me get this app back up because my phone's being now dumb until I can get some actual dice here. Okay. So that's... Alright, then let's hit that 20 and roll. <laughs> All right, that's going to be a 12 on the 20. So then you said the highest between a 4 and a 2, right? Correct. Okay, that's going to be a 4. Okay. So that's a crit. That's a crit. Yep. So you know that it's not anything down here interfering with it because the cell phone lights are still working. It's probably just since you ma you made it yourself, um, and it's a really really strong light. It takes a lot to power it for a short amount of time. Hey, what about my cell phone light though? Is it just not strong enough to like? It's not providing enough light. Well, I mean, it's it's a cell phone light. Yeah, it's like it's it's dark. I mean, you can see. A little bit, but cell phone lights are not really yeah super great. Yeah, yeah, because the light that I was bringing, I, the way I imagined it was yeah. like one of those like you see like advertised like yours is like, like a super like like a like like a, a yeah. super powerful light. When you turn it on, it's like it's daylight. Yeah, yours is a very bright spotlight type light, but unfortunately, yours takes a lot of juice to power it for short a short time. Yeah. So, just the way it works. Mm -hmm. So you guys, you guys can see a little bit in front of you, but not amazing. You guys keep going forward. I do. Yeah. 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 Okay. So. Yep. You guys keep going forward, and you come to an an area that's a very large opening. It's a massive circular opening. Um, and you can't see everything. You have to shine the light on certain things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see, when you shine the light around, you can see what looks like a um, some form of uh, computer. A pretty large, elongated computer. And you can see sparks kind of coming off of it. And you guys can hear what sounds like a, a moan, like a uh, 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 like maybe somebody's hurt. And you also hear 
a sound of like something breaking, like a, and you can hear something slowly dripping onto the ground below. And as you kind of turn the light, you see a figure that looks to be about adult sized has come out of the pod. And it it's on its on, on all fours right now and it looks up at you and you see that it has just hollow eye sockets. And a, a mouth that's in the shape of a frown that's also very hollow and just black. Its face looks to be made of this clay. And you can see a couple more dropping out of the pods from the ceiling. And behind them, you can see a woman lying there. And she seems to be dressed in some form of... Um, attire that you, you just you don't recognize but it's it looks to be a very dark purple color due to the the darkness shining like the darkness making the color darker because you can't see it with the proper lighting and that's where I'm going to end the session oh, oh shit. shit oh shit I'm going to oh, stop shit. recording now okay oh,